All right, let's go ahead and reiterate through an array. I'm going to make a uh, new class. I'll just call it reiterate, just like that. Call it whatever you would like. I'll check that box right there. So I'm going to make a new array of ints. Call it my array. And I'm going to fill in the values right off the bat. And I'm going to put in values, and I'm not going to count how many I'm going to put in. And feel free to go ahead and fill in your array with a random number of values. Because in this example, it doesn't matter whether you know how many values you put in or not. That does not matter. Okay, so we have an array. And we might be given an array of thousands of elements um, by some portion of another program. Okay? This is just an example. I filled this an array with values. And we're going to use that because we don't have another program to give us uh, an array filled with elements. So first, l let's find out the uh, length of this array. So I'm just doing a system out print line, the length of my array. And then the way we find the length is we put the name of the array and we put dot length. So, oh, look at that, 20. We have 20 elements right here. I didn't know that. I, I was just typing them in. Um, okay, we have 20 elements, but that means that the when we count the index indices, I guess, I've been saying indexes so far along, indices, um, we start counting at zero. So that means the last one is at 19, right? Just want to point that out, that the last element is at index number 19, not at 20. The length is 20, but we start counting at zero. So let's do a for loop. and. If you need to know how a for loop w works, I made a video about for loops. If you still have questions, uh, go ahead and ask me. Uh, I'll try to answer them. So we make a for loop. We're gonna init We're gonna make a counter. Um, my count. Uh, let's go int count equals zero. And we're gonna run this for loop while the counter is less than the length of the array. So uh, while count is less than my array dot length and every time we reiterate through this loop we're gonna one up, add one to the count. And this should be a semicolon and so should this. There we go. And that's our for loop. So what this is saying is uh, the counter is going to start at zero, a value of zero. And it's going to, every time it goes up th through this for loop, the counter is going to go and it's going to go value of one, value of two, value of three, all the way up to the value of my array dot length, but it has to be less than that. So my array dot length is 20, so it's going to go up to the value of 19. And coincidentally, 19 is the value of our last index, since we start counting at 0. So let me do inside this for loop system.out.println the value of the counter of the value of count. How about that? How a value of count plus, and I'm just going to go ahead and print out count to show you guys what this does. This breaks. Why does this break?
My array dot length is not a field. Okay. When you're typing in length, make sure it's a uh, lowercase l. And then things go well. There we go. So you see start at 0 and length of my array is 20. But this for loop reiterates until count is less than my array, not less than and equal to. So it only goes from 0 all the way up to 19. Now I'm just going to take off this print line because I wanted to print on the same line and the next statement I'm gonna have print line system dot out dot print line uh, and here I'm gonna put the value the element rather of my array at index or at my array count is and I'm gonna put plus my array count so I gotta start spelling my array correctly uh, my array there we go so what this is doing is this is gonna print out for every time this loop goes through it's gonna go and print out the value of count and then it's gonna set count whatever that value is as the index of my array of and we're gonna access that element and let's see what happens here print ok proceed so we have the value of count is 0 and the element of my array at count is 4 so you can see at 0 my array has a, va an, a value of 4 at index 0 um, and let's see at the value of count is 15 so my array at index count at index 15 has a value of well let's see if that's true this is 19 this is 18 17 16 15 at 15 it's 24 that's correct so what we did here is we just went through the entire array and basically printed off all the values that the array has not knowing what the length not knowing what the length of the array is it could be given to us an array of any length and we can do this okay and this is the structure that a for loop is set up as when we want to do this so let me let me go ahead and do that one more time real quick we go for we do a counter which we initialize as an int and we set it to 0 okay we put a semicolon, we do uh, int, well, let's give it a name, i equals zero. Um, we put while i is less than my array dot length. So that's going to go up to the maximum index, but not to the length of the array. Um, and then we go i plus plus, because we're going one element at a time. And let's change this to a semicolon. And let's do system dot out dot print line and we're gonna print on each line we're gonna print my array at element or at index one. Jeez, I gotta start spelling array correctly. Like really. Uh proceed. There we go. And if we don't have the print line here, you'll see that our array just got printed out right there we let's add a space how about that make it easy to read there you go that's our array you can compare this to right here and it should be the same value uh, go ahead and try this for yourself this is a hard this is a hard loop to understand for the first time but once you get it you get it so that's a for loop used to reiterate through an array. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.